this camera, the Canon M6 Mark II, was the first real camera that I ever bought. And if you're anything like me, when you get a new thing, you probably don't sit down with a manual, you go on YouTube and you search for stuff. And that's what I did with the Canon M6 Mark II. But the other day I scrolled through the manual of the M6 Mark II in a PDF file, and I found two features with the Canon M6 Mark II that I didn't know existed. And since the Canon M6 Mark II is the niche that this channel grew on, I thought it would be worth making a video dedicated to the Canon M6 Mark II and about these two maybe hidden features that you might not know about. Coming up. And now I'm gonna do the cliche YouTube intro. Hi, my name is Roger and on this channel we talk about cameras, tech gear and videography and sometimes photography. And during this video, if you like it, please hit that thumbs up button. That would really help this uh, video or, and channel out a lot. And also, if you feel like it, please hit that subscribe button too. If you have the Canon M6 Mark II and you only use it for photography, that's great. The camera is a great photography camera. It has a 32 megapixel sensor and the photos looks awesome. But the features that I want to talk about today, it has to do with video. And if you only use the camera for photography, you might find this interesting. So I encourage you to keep watching this video. One of the great things about the Canon M6 Mark II is that it's so small. It's really easy to just bring along, let's say on a family vacation or trip with your pals or friends. And if you don't like editing videos, but you still want to capture video highlights of that trip that you're on, the first feature allows you to do that and you don't have to edit anything in the end. You just have a finished video with the highlights of that trip. And in this camera, this feature is called video snapshots. The way you get to this video snapshot feature is that you have to have your camera in video mode. That is to turn the top dial of the camera into this video camera icon then you hit the menu button on the back of the camera and in the first tab of the red menu all the way down in the end there you have video snapshots now there is one thing to this feature and that is that you have to be in a regular frame rate like 24 or 25 frames per second depending on where you are in the world and you need to be filming in full hd not 4K to be able to use this feature. But if we go all the way down to video snapshot in the first tab of the red menu, you have to enable video snapshots. The next thing I want you to notice is if we go down to playback time here, you can choose how long you want each individual video clip to be. You can choose between four seconds, six seconds and eight seconds for this walk through, I'm going to choose four seconds. The next thing I want you to take notice of is the playback effect. Here you can choose the speed of your finished video. You can choose between half speed, regular speed or double the speed. For this walkthrough, I'm going to choose regular speed. The next thing I want you to take notice of is album settings. Here you have to create a new album where all these small clips are going to be stored. So just go into that, create a new album and press OK. If you already have tried this and you want to keep adding clips into that already existing album, you just go to add to existing album and all your new clips will be stored in the previous album that you already have created. The last setting I want you to take notice of is the bottom setting that says show confirmation message. If you disable this, every time you shoot a clip, the clip will automatically just be saved to the album that you have chosen, the new album. But if you enable this show confirmation message, after each clip that you film, you get a confirmation message that says, do you want to save this clip into the already existing album? Do you want to save this clip into a new album? Do you want to play back the video clip that you just filmed? 
or do you just want to delete this clip and shoot another one? I think having this last setting enabled that for each clip that you film, you get a chance to either delete it or you manually have to save the clip into the album. This is a good thing to have enabled because if you don't have it enabled, every time you film a clip, no matter if the clip is good or bad, it will be saved into the finished video. And like I said, the finished clip that comes out of the camera, it's a uh, one file. So if you shoot something that you didn't want to have in the finished video, and you have this show confirmation message disabled, you need to put the file or the finished film into an editing software and then manually remove that clip and then export the new file to be able to remove that bad clip. So, but if you have this show confirmation message enabled, right after you have shot a clip and you're not happy with that clip, you can just delete that clip and shoot a new clip. So yeah, I would have this show confirmation message enabled. If you now have video snapshot enabled, now you see a blue line at the bottom of your screen. This is just a visual countdown for each clip that you film. So if you press record, you see that the blue line goes from one side to the other. And when it's on the other side, the clip is finished. And there is a quick way to enter this video snapshot feature. You just hit the quick menu button on the screen or you just hit the quick menu button on the back dial. And at the bottom, you have video snapshots. When you enter the video snapshot setting this way, you're not able to change the length of each video clip. You see, I've chosen four seconds and you see a four at the bottom of this quick menu setting. So if you want to change the length of each clip or change the playback time, you need to go into the menu and into video snapshot menu to be able to do that. But for a quick and easy way to enter this setting, you can just go into the quick menu, turn it on and off. So let's say you're at the beach, you just want to capture some highlights of that time you're there. You just enable this setting and film those clips that you want. Disable the setting again, put the camera down, and the next time you're at a new place and you want to film something, you just go back to the menu, enable the video snapshot setting, choose to store all the files in the already existing album, and then when you're back home, you, or you have a finished video with all these small clips that you film during the time that you went on a holiday trip with your family, for example. Now, I think this is a fun feature to have because you might just enable the feature and film some stuff. And when you get back home, you can just hit the play button and you have a finished video that you with clips that you might not even remember that you filmed. So I think this could be a fun feature for you to know about. And the second thing that I didn't know that this camera could do is actually multiple things. It is in the quick menu setting of the camera. So when you look at your screen, you just hit the quick menu button on the screen. If you take notice of the setting that's right on top of the quick shot menu setting, and this is called creative filters. These are filters that you can add on to your footage in camera while filming the footage to give a certain mood or feel to whatever you want to film. So if we go into the quick menu, we press that creative filters, you see you have one, two, three, four, five different creative filters that you can choose from. The first one is a dream filter. It changes the focal length or the view of the image a bit, and then it adds a white vignette around the image to get this dream feeling to your footage. Now take notice of that you have this info button right on top and you can change the effect that you want this filter to have from low to standard to high. So you have some wiggle room on how strongly you want the effect to be added to the footage. The second one is old movies, which adds on this old movie effect onto the footage. And here you can also change the effect or the strength of the effect to the footage by pressing the info button and changing it from low 
to medium or standard to high. It also adds this uh, letterbox to the image. So might be a cool effect if you just want to film something and yeah, add this old footage look to the video. The third creative filter that you have, it's called a memory filter. This adds a blurry effect to the image and also adds a black vignette to the footage. So you have this old memory looking footage. The fourth one is a dramatic black and white filter. You get this black and white feature to the footage. The last one that I found most interesting was this miniature effect. Like, let's say you go up to a rooftop and you film down to a street where cars are driving by and have it look like you're filming some kind of miniature cars that's driving by on a small space. So what this does is that it adds a blurry effect to the top or bottom, but you can also go in and choose where you want this blurry effect to be and you can also go in and choose where you want your focus to be and here you can go into information and the playback time of this footage to have it look like kind of a miniature set you have five times playback time you have 10 times playback time and you also have 20 times of playback time the other filters like the dream effect and the old movies memory effect and the dramatic black and white effect these are probably effects that you can add in to your footage if you have an editing software like final cut pro or premiere pro or davinci resolve or whatever you want to use those programs probably have plugins or already existing effects in these editing softwares that you can add to your footage so this effect or feature in the camera it's it's if you just want to add something on the go and you don't want to take your time with it in the editing program but no matter what i think it was a feature that was interesting to mention and hopefully you found this interesting to know about also that's it for this video i hope you found this video interesting if you did please hit that like button subscribe to my channel if you haven't i would really appreciate that and yeah maybe i will see you in another video. Bye.